this week we're gonna tell you how to find your wedding dress in yes. three steps. No, that's four. Three steps. You like that thing? Do you know that um, security man out of Shrek? And uh, Lord Farquhar goes, they, they pull up the mirror and they give him three different br uh, brides to pick from. And the guy in the full armour goes, pick number two, sir, number two. <laughs> Like I, don't, I don't think I've seen Shrek. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I don't think I don't do Shrek it. was my favourite oh, film as a child. It was the only film I shut up to. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the Feathers and Florence vlog. We're in a different part of the studio today. No. Do you know weird. why? Go on. Because it was too much effort to move everything. <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh, genuinely the truth. Uh, we're in between appointments here at the studio, aren't we? So we um, uh, we're just waiting. Panicking. S panicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get some, a couple of vlogs done um, so they can go out on Monday. Uh, we hope you're okay. We hope you had a really, really good week. I feel really far away from the camera as well. Which, yeah, I do. So. But that's okay. Oh yeah, it probably should be a bit closer in. But that's all right. No, no, you can Actually, see us. They might appreciate being further away. Not from me. Not from you. I mean. All oh, right. No, Mr. not from Confident. you. No, not from you. <laughs> from me. Uh, we hope you've had a good week. Uh, what, what's this week's vlog on, please? This week we're gonna tell you how to find your wedding dress in yes. three steps. No, that's four. <laughs> three steps. You like that thing? Do you know that um, security man out of Shrek? And uh, Lord Farquhar goes, they, they pull up the mirror and they give him three different br uh, brides to pick from. And the guy in the full armour goes, pick number two, sir, number two. <laughs> Like I, don't, him. I don't think I've seen Shrek. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I don't think I don't do Shrek it. Shrek was my favourite oh, film as a child. It was the only film I shut up to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got three tips. No, how to find your wedding what dress. What's your fingers? In three steps. I don't want to swear at the camera. Three steps. So um, we're going to dive straight in and we're going to start with the first step. What is the first step? Step number one. Step number one. Do you research into bridal boutiques? I rant about this i feel every week every week yeah but do it yeah do your research so um for example if you're looking for a dress that lights up has fairy lights on it mm. you have an extinguisher underneath it to put any fires out it's a big dress big dress yeah you know if you're looking for something like that then you're definitely not going to find it in feathers and florence no agreed so what i'm saying is do your research check out the boutique Figure out whether you like the styles of dresses, mm -hmm. whether you like the, the vibe of the boutique as well, because an environment is really important to find your dress. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, really important. And also whether you're actually going to like the stylist. So if you are looking at particular boutiques and you're thinking, am I actually going to be comfortable there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then is it the place for you? You need to find somewhere that you'll be 100% comfortable to find your dress have no confidence issues in the appointment and find a style that actually matches your style. I'm not saying you can't go a little bit crazy with the wedding dress, but you need to have an idea of what style you're aiming for. I agree. So first step is do your research, mm -hmm. but that's only the first of three steps that we've told them about. So what's the second step? Step number two, step number two. is know your budget. Oh, you held us in suspense there. I was like, <laughs> That's the what is it? Have you changed it? I couldn't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> know your budget. Know your budget. Again, I say this every week. It's really, really important that you don't book an appointment for a bridal boutique that has dresses that you cannot afford and are out of your budget. If you then find a dress in that bridal boutique and it's way over your budget, I'm telling you now, you will not be able to let it go. You will compare every dress after that dress to that one you found and yeah. fallen in love with. And we've seen that so many times. Yeah, don't, don't, don't even, uh, it's great going, oh, I'll stretch my budget to whatever, but actually set your budget, know what you can actually spend and afford and don't, don't overstretch yourself to the point mm. where 
you're now trying to figure out how you can afford a dress that you shouldn't have tried on in the first place. Because that has an impact on the rest of your wedding as well, of course. Yeah, if you, you've got to cut anti-jean anti -jean out. Anti-jeans, yeah, she's, she's got to get bus instead of going in car, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or not at all. I think you get mixed up with funerals. That was our front door at home. Um, that's okay, we'll cut that bit out. You'll never know that that happens. Um, yeah, I actually drew that. But, um, uh, so know your budget is a really important tip. We mm -hmm. like that. But that leads us on to, if you can remember, the third step of how to find your wedding dress in three easy steps. <laughs> Step number three to how to find your wedding dress in three easy steps. Is it the most important we're going to find out, Melissa? Absolutely, it's the most important. We did forget it. We did forget <laughs> it and we, we've re-recorded <laughs> and you've not noticed. Um, we, step number three is come with an open mind to your, your appointments um, and trust your stylist as well. I say this yeah. because you might come in and go, right, I want long sleeve dress, I want it up here, I want a backless dress, I want it fitted, this is what I want. You try that on. And when you try it on and it's not how you imagined it in your head, it's a severe disappointment. If you've been so narrow-minded to go, that's the only dress I want, I don't want to try on anything else, and you come in and, and you've only got that in mind, you will disappoint yourself because mm. most girls find their aisle style in a dress that they weren't expecting to like. And, and when I say as well, trust your stylist, I mean this because... Your stylists aren't here. They're not car salesmen. Yeah. They're not here to make money out of you and mm -hmm. see you on your way off your pot. We don't care. Yeah. We're here to help you find your royal style that makes you feel the best version of yourself and really confident. We see these dresses on different body shapes day in, day out, and we know exactly what suits particular body shapes. Yep. I'm not saying you've got to stick to a particular style because you've got a particular body shape, but what I am saying is, if your stylist goes, oh, what about this one? We're not pulling it just because the price tag yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. it may be. Oh, they want to get rid of it off the rail. Yeah, yeah, we're actually doing it because we know that it may suit you. Or, if you come to Feathers and Florence, I might actually just be doing it as a palette cleanser. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. And I do this all the time, and I probably shouldn't let you into my secret, but what I do sometimes, I will, if I know that you've tried on a couple of dresses, and they might have all had some similarities, or certain, it might have been going down the same style route, like maybe all fitted, mm -hmm. and I know that the next one you're probably going to love, sometimes I like to throw in a palette cleanser that you'll nice. absolutely dislike, yeah, and you yeah. will not like. And the reason I do it is because if you try on a lot of dresses that are quite similar or the same style, same fit, you can get a little bit dress blind. So then when you do try on the one that you'll love, sometimes you can't, because you've been so yeah, mixed yeah, up, yeah, yeah. it's hard to just look at it for what it is. So I like a palette cleanser. I like it. Three steps. Yeah, three steps. Do your research into bridal boutiques. Yep. Know your budget yep. and be ready to spend and when you find that dress. Because, again, there's nothing worse than letting your dress go. And number three, come with an open mind and trust your stylist. And I feel like I did that really aggressively. No. So they're not going to trust me now. No, they will. No, 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 no they trust your just. stylist. Um, I really like that. There's been many occasions in the studio where brides have, have been in and... They, they've, they, you've picked a wild card out, thinking, actually, I understand their theme of their wedding, the feel of their wedding, um, their body shape, their personality will suit it. And at first, they go, oh, it's, 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 it's not for us. And then pull it out, put it on, and it just it's just transformational. We actually had a bride in today, Captain yeah, Headrest. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's the most stunning bride, honestly. Absolutely beautiful. And... Um, when she came in, I think she was going for quite a sleek, simple look. She'd gone for the total opposite. And when we pulled it, it was not her normal style. Yeah. So I could almost see her and her mum pulling her face a little <laughs> bit. Anyway, it's now her wedding dress. Yeah, so yeah, sometimes yeah. you just find it in something totally unexpected. It's like your partner, you know, 
I didn't expect to be with a six foot tall man, clean shaven. Hello. <laughs> With a terrible sense of humour, a good sense good of Good job humor. you're not with him. <laughs> uh, we hope you found that useful. That was really good. Thank you so much <laughs> for your compliments. I like that you're quite not uh, sure. Yeah, uh, th uh, we hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any questions about um, what we've talked about or you think actually there should be more steps or less steps, whatever it may be, put a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. If someone says there's less steps. Yeah, there's less steps. Basically, go in, bye. <laughs> <laughs> There's not less steps. Three <laughs> steps is good. Um, yeah, we hope you found that useful. Anything else to add? What are we doing this week? We're, oh, we've got such an exciting we week. We have got a real exciting week. Well, we're in the middle of the, the day right now, so we've got more brides to meet in the next few hours. Yeah, very soon, actually. Very so soon. So we'll start tidying up very I'm soon. I'm not going to be oh here. Oh, my God, I've just seen a guy go past the window on a one... Oh, there's another Oh, look. a unicycle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A unicycle. You'll never see that. Oh, there's a normal bike That's, now. They're That's just on normal bikes. Anyway. Sorry. Um, so we've got loads of brides to see and we've got an exciting week. We do. So we were actually supposed to be going to the Cotswolds this week, we which were. we announced last week. Yeah, so... But that's... Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't be... We can't, we're not doing the Cotswolds. Hopefully sometime, but we're not doing it this week. We're going for a shoot, not just for a holiday. Yeah, but now instead, yeah. we've adapted, we've changed, of we've course. got an in-studio shoot, so we're going to bring you more content which I know everybody loves because it's nice to see our dresses on different girls, on real girls, with different body shapes. So, yeah, we're going to show some uh, new dresses. Yeah, we've got in the next dresses. vlog. So, week after, have a look on here. And as a tractor goes past, we were going to show you some more dresses. So, that's been long enough, I think. If you're not, if you're still watching, fantastic. Well done, you've made it. Don't forget, you're thinking it's a long vlog this one, but we have done rewind. Yeah, we have actually. Yeah, we have rewound. Yeah. Um, anything to add now? Say, what should people do if they like this content? If they like it, like it. Yep. Subscribe. Yep. Share it. Ring the bell. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbour. And come back and watch us next week. Have a wonderful week, everybody. We will see you all here on the same channel next week. Bye. Probably in the same seat.